Good morning, everybody. Sleepy Sunday edition of the Jekyll Bates Workshop Update. It's only been a couple of days, but you guys probably know by now. I'm sure I've said it a few times. I'm getting ready to leave the shop for a little while. I'm going to be headed to the East Coast. Uh, Bassmaster Elites are out there. So I'm trying to saturate and give you guys as much content as I can. I am going to work on some edits and upload some stuff and not publish it, but then just publish it uh, on the scheduled release date so you guys are not be lacking for content. I've got a bunch of work to do, so we're going to try and breeze through this this morning. I've got quite a few that I didn't show you on Friday because the work has been continuous. Um, one thing that I am probably going to do, if you guys can see it over there, I've got two 130 whopper ploppers. Um, they came in yesterday and a couple of other baits. Um, I know I've got a pretty comprehensive whopper plopper video out there, but um, I want to go ahead and do a video on how I prep a whopper plopper to get it ready to repaint and do a custom job on. So that's certainly forthcoming and I'll probably shoot the video today and get it uploaded for you while I'm on the plane. So anyways, here is what's been going on at Jekyll Bates in the last couple of days. So we've got some late summer shad. I'll get this up under the light. These are getting ready to fly out the door tomorrow morning, today being Sunday. The mail doesn't come on Sunday. Well, actually, it does these days, doesn't it? Um, regardless, mail doesn't pick up on Sunday, it just drops off. So this is in the Predator S version. Also have that in a 2.5. Now these are cool, these are simple, but boy are they effective. This late summer pattern, let's see if we can get this in some good light for you. Let me bring it over to the LED lights. Got a little bit of plum glitter on the top. And that Caribbean blue fading back into a light blue. And then we've got some burnt sienna and orange. Almost a, a flavorful bait, but Real simple, real effective. Great for this time of year going into the fall. We'll tear this up in the fall because the shad are getting ready to die off. And that won't be long now. A couple more months and they'll be going crazy for it. This, boy did we have fun doing this one. This is the 2.0 version. We can call it Walking Dead, Exposed Muscle, Flesh. We've got the uh, Jetson Lure Eyes from John and just love his eyes. He has some really unique, well put together epoxied eyes, the 3D eyes at his company. And just a, a cool technique to use where it really gives you that 3D imaging effect. This is all hand painted. This is not an image. This bait has not been wrapped. Um, I painted all of it step by step by hand. Of course, I would happen to get the uh, the treble hook wrapped around the bill. Let's see if I can get that off. No, nope, it's not going anywhere for the video. That's all right. Just a pretty cool bait. Love putting this together on the special order. Also, got another Lake Martin. The winning color on Lake Martin from Takahiro Mori. This is the color scheme. That dark red fading into an orangish red into a fluorescent yellow. You guys saw the blue version of this bait. This is the green and orange and white version. And of course, this comes from Lure Color Studio. It's a 3D hard stencil set, custom set from Jonas over at Lure Color Studio. I did show you the blue and pink version of this on Friday, but you can really, you can do any color you want. This is how it turned out. And I also have a spray session on this as well. The Lake Charles, which is just red, fading to white and the black veining. Cool bait, love doing these. The American Bullfrog, this is the red eyed version got dragon eyes on it. 
lots of pop, lots of glitter, lots of flash, and that standard American bullfrog pattern, the adult American bullfrog. Got a few of those. And this was absolute fun to, to create. This is the Buzzkill in blue. Super multi-species bait. Obviously, it's a popper. It's got the glow eyes on it. Black fading to purple, fading down into blue. Real good fade on this bait. Love how it turned out. And again, lots of flash on this bait as well. Walleye, smallmouth, destruction. That's all I got to say. And late last night, I guess it was about 8.30, 9 o'clock, into about the 11 o'clock hour, I decided to try and do, now I've never done a brook trout pattern on a bait before. I paint them all the time. Um, and I think, as a matter of fact, yeah, I have a brook trout right now on the sketchboard. But I've never done one on a bait. So this, is my first attempt at a brook trout on a 2.5 at Lucky Craft pressing. And there you go. Adult brook trout. Might be one of my favorite baits that I've done to date. I did two of them. There's number two. Kind of looks like the first one. That's on purpose. If you or anybody else you know is really into fishing, into collectibles, I would, I would fish this, to be honest with you. Depending on where I am in the country, I would totally throw this. Um, I'd throw it in the Ozarks. I would throw it in the Northeast, all across the Northern Plains. Um, there are indigenous and stocked brookies. Canada, totally throw it there too. But if you guys are interested, check out www.jekyllbaits.com. Come find me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. All those links are in the description below. You can find me pretty much anywhere. Shoot me a line, send me a message. I do custom work for you guys. Around the clock, seven days a week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day.